Today we begin a series, GMA's Summer Job Swap. We're all going to get a chance to live a dream for one day, taking a summer job that we've always wanted to do. And up first, my weekend GMA colleague, Ron Claiborne. Little did we know that Ron was just like so many little boys who dreamed of sailing the high seas. Well, today he gets to live out that dream, spending a day as a first mate. And Ron is live at the South Street Seaport here in New York City aboard a schooner. Ron, we're so jealous. This looks fantastic. It's a lot of fun, Kate. It really is. You know, I used to think uh, when I heard the word first mate about the comical version of Gilligan in Gilligan's Island. Well, I spent a long day on the Pioneer here uh, recently and learned what a real first mate does. And basically it is getting the crew to follow the commands of the captain, but it also involves some what I considered rigorous duties of my own. It's a lot of fun, but also, Kate, a lot of work. I didn't know it from this, my first assignment on the Pioneer, but as first mate, I actually outranked everyone except the captain. So everybody say hi, Ron. Hey, how you doing? Hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. I want to make sure we get all the dirt off the top surface. I suppose everyone has to start somewhere, even the first mate. But what I didn't quite understand was what exactly the first mate does. What's the key to being a, uh, an outstanding first mate? I would say be loud. Stand by the lines! Be authoritative. Polishing the bell? Yeah. Yeah, well, you're doing a good job. Carry on, OK? And just make sure that the crew you know, knows what to do. Take three! This code actually meant something to the crew. I spoke the words, and things happened. In a matter of minutes, we left the dock and were embarked on our voyage. The Pioneer is a 103-foot schooner built in 1885, now owned and sailed by the South Street Seaport Museum. They like to think of it as a floating museum, as part of their living collection. Our trip, we had Captain Aaron Singh, a small but experienced crew, and about a dozen kids from the Pioneer Sailing Camp, one of the many programs the museum offers to children during the summer. Once we were underway, I was more than willing to get my hands dirty, despite my lofty rank. My shipmates and I hoisted the mainsail. Tough work. At some point, every able-bodied seaman and sea woman has to climb the ratlins, the rope ladder. It's a kind of rite of passage. I can't get my knee out of the way of this rope above it. Fear of heights eventually outweighed devotion to duty. I found steering the pioneer and shouting commands much more to my style. Haul away. Haul away. <laughs> our destination for my maiden voyage, New York Harbor, our mission, it turned out we had orders to take part in a mock battle with another ship. Prepare to engage the enemy. Aye, aye, sir. As you were. Just off Liberty Island, we confronted the A.J. Mirwall, New Jersey's official tall ship. Fire in the hole! Don't worry, the cannon was firing blanks. But since the Mirwall's cannon didn't work at all, I guess we won. Mission accomplished, we headed back to port. Hey, you'd love the view from up here, Kate, although I don't particularly like heights. As I mentioned before, this is the Rattlins. Don't ask me exactly what that means. You know, I noticed the, uh, uh, the crew on the ship uses a language, a lingo all their own, which means nothing uh, to you and I. Uh, such things as rag the jib, sheet on the main, and my favorite was scandalize the peak. Don't ask me what it means, but it sounds cool, doesn't it? Yeah, I was just going to ask you, what the heck does that mean? So what was the hardest part? Uh, the hardest part for me was getting out of the way of the, uh, what is this, the halyard? That would be the boom right the boom, there. The boom kept swinging <laughs> up. You Sorry didn't even know that. what it is. Kept swinging up my head, and I didn't, you know, I couldn't get out of the way at the, until the last second, but it didn't hit me. Now, could you ever become a, a captain? Dangerous. If you're the first mate, is that the next step to become a captain? Uh, yeah, I think the first mate eventually, with experience, becomes a captain. But why don't we ask a real captain, Aaron Sanger. How did, how did you become captain? Is the first mate automatically no, rise and rank? No, not at all. I started off as a volunteer back in 95 uh -huh. with the museum and then worked my way up just like you. So next time when we see you, hopefully you'll be the captain. <laughs> how about that, Kate? Yeah, Ron, I think you need a little come, more come work. Come on aboard. We I'll be the captain of the ship next time. We need a little bit more work. <laughs> Hey, real quick, tonight I'm going to be selling cotton candy at a Mets game. So maybe you could give me some advice on, on how to do that. That's my summer job. Well, I, if it was beer, I could give you some advice. <laughs> you just say, beer here. But 
but cotton candy be can't help you, We'll check cotton candy here. Thanks, Ron. Yeah. Thanks so much. All yeah. summer we're going to be continuing this summer job swap. All of us are going to be giving it a whirl, so that should be fun. It is 46 minutes past the hour. Up next, an up